Hi, this quick tip is going to show you how to use the compositing modes in Studio Artists. They're really powerful and easy to use. So I'm going to show you how I did this one image. First off, we're just going to go to uh, Image Operations and we're going to choose the first preset, which is the Adaptive Filter. So that does this effect. And if we look inside the editor, you'll see that it's looking at the source image and it's just replacing what's on the canvas. So there's no real compositing going on at this point. So now um, we're going to go to another effect. We'll go to a blur effect. And this time it's going to use the source image with a multiply one compositing mode, which will composite the source image plus the effect plus what's already on the canvas. So the next effect will be colorized and we'll choose the current layer. So we're only going to be working on that layer. We're going to do the source texture though. And we're going to use an edge one composite and that's going to give that effect, but that's kind of a little bright. So what I'm going to do is cut the mix down a little bit and then try that again. And that looks a little bit better. So we can also add another effect. We can just keep going with this forever. So I'll add a block eight. Um, and this time, if we did the source image and replace, which is how most of the defaults are set up for the presets in Studio Artist, then it would just completely replace what's on the canvas. But if I change the compositing mode to say edge one, then you would still see what's on the canvas plus the block effect. Another cool thing is that you can composite several different images this way. So I'm going to drag in a new image into the source area to show you how to do that. So now I'll composite the new source image with the image on the canvas. Here's another compositing effect. We were just working with the image operations mode, but compositing is in every single mode in Studio Artists. So check them all out. They're really powerful and it's a great way to build up really interesting effects without using layers. You'll really be surprised how quickly you can generate incredible effects this way.